Hi, I want to show you a real nifty way of starting your leader on a turkey spindle. This was taught to me by Morgan of Carolina Homespun, who was taught by Judith McKenzie. Fluff out your bit of fly fiber, put it over the bottom of the hole in your Aegean or any of the turkey spindles. Put the shaft on up through and then Go ahead and draft out a little bit and twirl the spindle. And you can let go and draft out what you need. And this is just for my leader. When it's long enough, you can go back up and you're half hitch and you're finished. Leader. Pretty nifty. Now I'm going to show you that yes you can chain ply with a turkey spindle. I'm going to draw out a single you need quite a bit and you need more twists than you would for a regular plying because you're going to be doing chain plying. Some call it Navajo plying. So we move the half hitch and in this point this is where you'll change. Getting set up for your chain plying. I'm going to reach through my loop, turn it and reach through with my finger and grab a loop. Open that loop up and grab another loop. Now that is three plied. Chain plied. Now, the beginning of the chain ply is down here, so I'm going to take my shaft and make a half hitch. And then do a little bit more counterclockwise spinning. Now, when you have enough twist in your ply, then go over two, under one, over two, under one, until you run out of the, the chain, the plied area. And then put that loop over the most convenient closest arm. And take your single back up, do a half hitch, and make your another spin another single. Well, I like to do a long, generous arm span, but for the sake of the video, I'm going to do just a short one. So once I have enough twist in there, I will stop the spindle, walk up, and for ease, I move that over my index finger and out of the way. So that frees up my fingers and thumb, and the, the twist is kept back so I don't have to worry about the twist going up into the fiber. So now release the half hitch, go down, and get that loop off of the arm and I have to loosen it just a little bit and I'm holding on to that loop I haven't let go of it I'm going to reverse the spindle go backwards so I can have enough of the chained area to go up and make a half hitch and now get the fiber out of the way spin counterclockwise reach through that loop grab a single reach through, grab the single, and you need to leave enough of a leader, enough of the, your single, to start your next batch. Now see the energies in the twist want to make the spindle spin counterclockwise, which is the correct direction. So I only need to add a little bit extra spin in there, and then wind on again. Now, one last time, just for clarity, make your single, whoops, I'll do a short one, get 
get enough twist in there because chain flying takes out some of the twist. Get plenty in there and then butterfly up my fingers, get this out of the way and then remove the half hitch. And come down and remove the loop off of the arm. Counterclockwise, spin, hanging onto the loop. And loop over the arm and just continue as it is, on and on. Pretty nifty. Have a blast.